people welcome back to straight from the kettle this is don speaking today i wanted to talk a little bit about queen of sheba i watched a video and this whole thing is in regards to cardi b and megan the stallion's new video wop wet ass p u s s you get the drift right um not only is this song very degrading there's a lot of occult references in this video and i did a video yesterday in regards to beyonce's blackest king but this is not about her it's just going to show you the synchronicities of how deep hollywood and a lot of the people that are so-called superstars are involved in it some way shape or form um we have oshun oshun is sheba right in the uh hebrew term or hebrew teaching oshun african from the orishas sheba hebrew okay or it could be arabic as well but you guys get the drift you see the difference right one's from the middle east one's from africa but it's the same spirit be behind both of them right what you're seeing on your screen right now is a picture or a painting some type of drawing of queen of sheba and just to let you guys know queen of sheba is represented as a black woman not what you see on tv a lot of this stuff goes back to the first man on earth the first fallen angel the color of christ yahweh yahweh shai right they were f the first people on earth were melanating beans but let me not stray away from the from the point that i'm trying to make today uh queen of sheba is a figure first mentioned in the hebrew bible the original story she brings a caravan of valuables gifts for the israelite king solomon right this tale has undergone extensive Jewish, Islamic, and Ethiopian elaborations and has become the subject of one of the most widespread and fertile cycles of legend in the Orient. Okay? Just so you guys know, I gave you a little bit about that. Um, Sheba. You could also say Sheba is a Jezebel. What do I mean by a Jezebel? Right? A Jezebel spirit is one of Satan's higher ranking, more intelligent demons, if not the smartest kind of demon he has. Who made man fall from grace? Eve. Right? Eve, and we also have Lilith. Lilith is also a representation of Sheba. She has snakes in her head. And in Cardi B's music video, the intro to the video, you see queen of sheba in her front fountain right duality they put two faces um i'm sorry the statue in the water fountain in the yard has two heads on it right and it's going in a circular motion that represents a duality black and white but it all boils down to dark magic anyways because the music they're perp perpetuating and how they're degrading females and also a lot of representation of the snake right the serpent is one of the the oldest and most widespread mythological symbol right the word derived from latin serpens a crawling animal and the bible tells us about the snake right the snake had legs before and it got cast down and it had no more legs. It's the lowest form an animal could get to. And that's why we have the snake. The snake is one of the wisest and oldest animals on planet Earth. That's why the Bible uses Satan, Shatan, as a representation in the form of a snake. Wise old serpent. Right? And we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities of the darkness. 
but I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. This video is very degrading. Not only is it degrading to women, it's an attack on kids because Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, a lot of their core listeners are under the age of 20. And these are preteens, mid teens, late teens. These are the kids that potentially could change a future, right? Because they're still young, but they're corrupting their minds with this satanic, demonic, witchcraft music, uh, which is a spell because words are spells, right? Because in the beginning, God said, let there be light and there was light, right? So the tongue has life and death within it. So we got to be careful about what we feed ourselves, what we feed the spirit, but just to let you guys know my opinion on this video i find it very degrading and it's attack on kids and i don't like it no shape or form whatsoever and we see a lot of demonic and occult reference references as i said earlier with the representation of sheba with the snakes on the head and then they are lying in a den filled with snakes so they're blatantly telling us subliminally i should say attacking the subconscious mind with their satanic and demonic rhetoric in the form of music but guys you know what i mean protect yourselves be careful about what you watch and um don't let your kids watch this video matter of fact just turn off all cardi b all megan the stallion all Nicki Minaj, anything hollywood just turn it off because it's a war going on outside yeah not outside it's in our phones as well they're attacking us from all angles just be careful guys protect your kids pray over them you know what i mean in the name of yahweh yahweh shai cover everybody in this world because we're 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 in the dark ages and there's dark times ahead but guys uh i appreciate you taking your time to listen to my video what i'm gonna ask you to do is before you click off this video just take a moment hit like uh subscribe to my channel if you find my content entertaining and share your thoughts in the comment section let me know how you feel what video should i talk about next how do you feel about this video do you agree with me in saying that this video is uh satanic uh it's blasphemous as well right and they're targeting our women too that's why a lot of marriages fail nowadays because of women like these because of the message they they, they 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 spin the tongue has life and death in it they're attacking the household they're attacking us through this demonic music but be careful guys again thanks for checking in hit the like button subscribe share this content if you like it and peace see you guys in the next video